Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can find, modify, and use lessons in Lumio. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm at Lumio by Smart at smarttech.com slash Lumio. And let's go ahead and sign into my account. This is my teacher dashboard. And I'm going to explore resources. And in here, I can explore all of these collections. You can see here, there's a whole collection on mental well-being. And I can see that one there, increasing motivation. I can just browse through these, or I can go back up to the top here and let's search for resources. Let's say I wanna teach a lesson about money to elementary school students. Well, I can just type in money. I'm gonna say that's going to be probably a math lesson about money and do my search here. And we see now there's 88 results for money and I can preview any of these just by clicking on them. And I can just tab through and look at each one of the slides that's in the lesson and see if there's any manipulatives included in this one or not. And if I like it, I can save it to my library. If I don't, if I decide, you know what, I don't really like it, go back to my search results, and I can find a different one. I'm going to go all the way back to exploring resources and show you a lesson that I found that I like, and that's this one here about increasing motivation. So we have here increasing motivation, and I'm going to save it to my library, and we'll see that it's now importing into my library that I'll be able to access in my teacher dashboard. Once it's imported, I can modify it or use it as is. So we can see here that it's now com completely imported. I can start it right now or I can edit it. Let's go ahead and start it and see what it looks like. So it's a little preview for me as the teacher here to see what it looks like. And you can see right now, I don't have any students participating in it. Now, if I wanted my students to participate in it, I'd give them that class ID and they could enter that and they'll be participating in it. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a moment. But for now, we're gonna see that we're getting a little preview of what's happening in this lesson. And I can tab down to see what the next lesson is going to be, what the next point in the, in the lesson is going to be. And we can see here, there's going to be a little activity for students to do as well. So now let's go ahead and get students using this lesson. So for a student to join this lesson, they're going to go to the Lumio website and they're going to join a class and they'll put in the class code. They're gonna click here, they can sign in or join as a guest. For this demo, we'll have them join as a guest. They'll use the class code and put in their screen name that they want to use for this lesson. Now, if they were signing in to a school account, their names will automatically be assigned or associated with them. But here, our student will be Max. He's gonna join as a guest. And once Max is joined in, he'll be able to see the same thing that's displayed on my teacher screen. He's going to see here now increasing motivation. But you'll notice he doesn't have any of the controls here to advance the slides. Those are grayed out for him. So here as the teacher, I'm now ready to advance the slides. And I can advance them again. Now, if we're looking at this here from Max's perspective, we'll see here teacher notes are still included. So maybe as a teacher, I'm going to say, scribble that part out. Now I can go to the next lesson, or next slide in the lesson. We'll see the find match them up activity. And we're gonna start this. And so Max is going to see this start button. And he's now going to have to 
associate these pictures together to make the matches. Now, as the teacher here, when I click that start button, I can show that to my students as well. And we're now working on the activity. Now I can refresh that at any time and reset it for my students. Now, if I want to end the activity, I can go up here and end the lesson. And that lesson is now over. Now, if I wanted to edit this lesson, I can edit it. And in fact, I might even go and take out this slide. I'm going to delete that page. And then I'm going to delete this page as well. Because those are just instructional pages. And if I wanted to, I can include this in here and preview it. See those activities. And there's our next slide. And we can see all these elements that I can again edit. I could insert a new blank page if I wanted to put in my own commentary and start to add something in here. And I can add those in as well. And now I can finish editing it and I can go in and use that activity again with my students. So that's how you can find activities, use activities, and modify them in Lumio. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel where I've previously released another video about how to use Lumio to create quick formative assessments.